Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to some more FNAF news. Last FNAF news video, we talked about a whole bunch of merchandise from a whole bunch of different companies. We talked about U2s, we talked about Hex, we talked about the brand new Creator Inc. Uh, security Breach t-shirts, which actually came in for me today. As you can see, this is Music Man. Music Man! And then the Freddy one awesome but that was last time today we are only going to be focusing on funko products and we have a lot to discuss we got news on funko products that have come out are coming out or have been leaked to come out in the future so if you are excited for all of the funko products you already know what to do hit the like button subscribe for the brand new mic hopefully it sounds good but let's kick this video off with some products that have already been released starting with this brand new t-shirt. So as you can see, this is the Chocolate Freddy, or as Funko likes to call him, the Candy Freddy t-shirt. I honestly don't think it looks all that bad. It says free hugs, which is a bit cringy. And for some reason, they put the FNAF logo right there. But overall, the design itself is not too, too bad. So if you want to cop it, it is on the Funko store right now. And then we also got some FNAF Popsies, which is a new line of products by Funko. We got three characters, Freddy, Golden Freddy, and Foxy. And basically what they do is they're in this box, you press this button on the ribbon, ta-da, you're one of us, and he puts his arms up. For Golden Freddy, he says, have a killer day. And then finally, Foxy, I've got my eye on you. So those came out recently. Again, they're on the Funko store if you want to go pick them up. And then also recently, we got some brand new pins by Loungefly, which is a company owned by Funko. So this still counts as Funko products. As you can see, they're just pins of some Pizza Sim characters. You got Rockstar uh, Freddy, Foxy, Lefty, and Pig Patch. Kind of a weird uh, assortment of characters from that game, but whatever. And it looks like they're supposed to be in their plushies form, so if you want to go pick up some FNAF Pizza Sim Funko plushie pins, <laughs> uh, they're there. They also released a backpack, which was like 80 bucks. And then I actually haven't talked about this on the channel because, I don't know, I was probably busy deciding not to make a video on them when they got revealed, but the FNAF AR Funko Wave has been released and they're starting to pop up in several different locations now. So I know at this point a lot of people have already talked about the reveals, in fact they've gotten some of the merchandise, they've done videos on them, but like I said since I haven't officially talked about them in a video I'm just gonna quickly run down the list of the new FNAF AR Funko products we got. First up is the Walmart exclusive Livewire VR Toy Freddy plushie, and I have been seeing quite a few people actually spot this guy in the Walmart stores so Hey, if you got a Walmart near you, I recommend seeing if they got this guy. Next up are the FNAF AR Arcade Mayhem and Radioactive Foxy Pocket Pops. And as you can see, I've actually got all of them right here. Wow, look at them. I will be doing a review video on these guys and a whole bunch of other merchandise on the FNAF AR Wave eventually. But yeah, these are the four brand new Pocket Pops from FNAF AR. Next up, you have all of the mystery minis, and we have done a video talking about these guys and unboxing quite a few. And these guys have been hitting store shelves for quite a while now, so definitely go out and see if you can find some mystery minis. Next up are the Glow in the Dark Arcade Mayhem and, once again, Radioactive Foxy action figures. I do have these four guys, and once again, I will be doing a review video on them in the near future. And once again, the Walmart exclusive Live Wire VR Toy Freddy. Once again, I've heard quite a few people say that he is now hitting the store shelves, so go to Walmart, see if you can find him. And also Toxic Springtrap Glows in the Dark, and he is also also a common figure and once again I do have him. Next up, you have the Hot Topic exclusive Inverted Colors plushies for the FNAF AR gang. The Chocolate Freddy plushie, as you can see, he's right down there, little guy. And he's actually a exclusive plushie to the Funko online store, but this is what he looks like cute little guy. So if you want to pick him up, he's only going to be found at the online Funko store, so you can't find him in Walmart or GameStop. You gotta go to the store. And then finally, the Shamrock Freddy plushie and action figure, both exclusive to Walmart once again. I personally have spotted him in the Walmart stores, and I actually have gotten the figure, so see if you can find the action figure, and I once again have heard reports that the plushie is also hitting store shelves. And then finally, the common plushies for System Error Toy Bonnie, High Score Toy Chief, 
Chica, Radioactive Foxy, and VR Toy Freddy. And once again, these guys are rolling out, so go to GameStop, Walmart, what have you, go see if you can find them. Once again, once I get a larger portion of those merchandise, I'll do a review video covering everything. And even though that's everything we got in that wave, we're not done with FNAF AR merchandise just yet. Because it was actually leaked by our good friend Tony Mario Bros. You may remember them. They've done a lot of leaking of Funko merchandise in the past and are pretty accurate. I don't think they've been wrong just yet about anything major, so I think it's pretty safe to say what they've leaked right now will eventually come out. And I'm happy about that because Tony Mario Bros finally revealed that more pops are coming in the future. They're expected to release in the spring of this year, which thankfully we are in spring and it is this year. And they will be pop figures of the FNAF AR gang, VR Toy Freddy, System Arrow Toy Bonnie, High Score Toy Chica, and Radioactive Foxy, as well as a exclusive glow in the dark Radioactive Foxy. And it's also been leaked that there will be a Liberty Chica action figure and plushie. Now we haven't seen the plushie, but we actually have seen the action figure and and this is what it looks like. It's expected to come out at some point in the summer, which makes sense, you know, 4th of July, Liberty Chica. Shocker, it's gonna come out in the summer, maybe around 4th of July. So that is a look at the entirety of the FNAF AR wave, everything that has been released or is releasing right now, and all the leaks of things coming out in the future. And now let's make our way over to some more leaks. Because god dang, Tony Mario Bros is on a roll. They leaked a whole bunch of upcoming Funko products. And originally, when I wrote this list for FNAF News, that jumbo spring colorway Vanny plushie was only a leak. Someone had found it in like a claw machine, but as you can see now, they're released. Ta-da! This is the jumbo spring colorway Vanny plushie. Basically, it's Vanny, jumbo sized, and just a whole bunch of colors on them. Golly gee, ain't this so exciting. So yeah, the Jumbo Spring Colorway Vanny Plushie is apparently out right now. I found it at GameStop. I don't know if it's going to be in other stores, but I'd recommend checking GameStop. Next up, for some more leaks, we have a tie-dye wave coming soon. It looks like in the summer, we're going to get action figures of tie-dye Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, as well as a tie-dye Rockstar Freddy pop figure that will be exclusive. Tie-dye plushies of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, and Funtime Foxy, and an entire mystery mini wave of tie-dye characters. Though I am happy, because even though they are reskins, we're still going to be getting pop figures of tie-dye Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. We also got some more leaks about what is coming in the fall. We have a 13.5 inch Freddy and Bonnie action figure, which that's pretty big. Then we also have a 2 inch tie-dye 4 pack of action figures. Then we have a pocket pop, of Tie-Dye Freddy, Tie-Dye Bonnie, Tie-Dye Chica, and Tie-Dye Foxy. And finally, some Pop Pez dispensers of, you guessed it, Tie-Dye Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. So yeah, a whole Tie-Dye wave of a whole bunch of stuff will be coming out at some point this year in the summer, going into fall. We're still not done with the leaks though, because apparently a brand new FNAF board game is in the works right now with Funko called Five Nights at Freddy's Night of Frights Party Game. Now we've had quite a few FNAF board games in the past, the uh, Survive Till 6am game being the most recent one by Funko, so it's gonna be interesting to see what the Night of Frights game is gonna be all about. Then we got something called Snap, which I don't know what this is about. I've been told it's kind of like Lego, which I don't know if that's necessarily true, but these will apparently be some sort of sets that you construct, I think. So we got a FNAF Stage with Freddy Snap playset, a FNAF Toy Bonnie and Baby Snap minifigure 2-pack, FNAF Storage Room with Chica, FNAF Freddy in Springtrap figure 2 set, then we've got a FNAF Foxy reversible head 4-inch plushie. Why are we- why, why, why are we doing that to Foxy? Why are we turning around his head? Why can we reverse his head? That's kind of weird. Then we go back to the snaps with a FNAF Bonnie Snap minifigure, FNAF Foxy Snap minifigure, a Bonnie reversible head- why, why, why are we still doing this to them? Why do we have to do it to Bonnie? Bonnie's a chill dude, he just does what he wants. Why are we- why are we- twisting around and reversing his head. And apparently we do that with Freddy and Chica too. Oh, how wonderful. I'm sure they really enjoy getting their heads twisted and, and reversed. And then finally we have a FNAF Snap uh, storage carrying case. So some very weird, weird leaks indeed. Um, we're just gonna have to see in what the heck all those things are about because I don't know how to respond to 
In fact, everything on that list that I just read out, I don't know what any of that means, but we're gonna find out at some point. Ooh, but now finally, oh, we got the big news. We got the big news that everyone's gonna be so excited about. And I'm not lying, that isn't sarcastic. We are getting more statues of Foxy and Lefty and they're estimated to be coming out in the fall. That is some awesome news. A lot of people, me included, love the Funko statue, so I'm so happy they're actually doing some more. And now, finally, we move on to the last piece of Funko FNAF merchandise news for the video, and it's the thing that I personally am most excited for. It got leaked that this fall, we will be getting candy and Pop Goes plushies. And in case you don't believe that leak, why don't we hear it from the man himself, Kane Carter, the creator and director, don't get it wrong, of Pop Goes. FNAF News, Pop Goes the Weasel and Candy the Cat Funko plushies are confirmed. It's happening. Fall 2022, Fazbear Fanverse. Yes. Yes, we've seen them and they look awesome. Very happy with what Funko has done with the characters. Please buy them when they come out. We're finally getting Fanverse merchandise. It, <laughs> it feels good. And it's this year as well. Granted, it's fall, so it's kind of far away, but it's this, it's still this year. I'm so excited. The possibility of the fan games getting merchandise is my most hyped feature of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative, so I'm so happy. We finally got it confirmed. Because the U2s figures are one thing, you know? They're like, oh, you know, U2s, that's pretty cool. They're kind of the new hip thing to do nowadays. But Funko, Funko's a classic. And so the fact that we're finally getting official plushies of Candy and Pop Goes, that's amazing. It, I'm genuinely so excited. And that's going to do it for this video talking about FNAF news from Funko. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.